champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. LSU versus Florida State. Uh, back with another 2022 college football uh, non-conference game preview, LSU versus Florida State. I'm doing a whole series of these uh, videos, so uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Let me know in the comments down below which non-con game for 2022 you'd like to hear me talk about next. I've done Notre Dame versus Ohio State, Florida versus Utah, Arkansas versus Cincinnati, Texas versus Alabama, and up now, of course, uh, LSU versus Florida State. Uh, we got to get this one to, uh, it's, this one has to be 600. 600 thumbs up for me to do another one because I've done already like four today. I keep putting it higher and higher and you guys keep hitting it out of the park. 600 on this one. LSU and Florida State. Again, um, you know, people are saying like, you know, oh, these aren't good games. These aren't good teams. I heard this about, uh, you know, I did the Texas and Alabama. Oh, Alabama's going to blow them out. That's not a good non-con game. Uh, Ohio State's going to blow Notre Dame out. That's not a good non-con game. Yeah, some of these games will be blowouts maybe, but LSU and Florida State are two big name, big brand programs. I mean, LSU's only two, three seasons away from winning a national title. Yeah, they've been bad the last couple of years. Florida State won it all in 2013, made the playoffs in 2014, and it, you know, uh, fell off the cliff since then. But, you know, these are two... Uh, it, at least, you know, you look back the last however many years, 20, 30, 40 years, these are two of the bigger programs of college football. This will be an exciting game. Neutral site, New Orleans, kind of neutral, I guess. It's in Louisiana, not in Baton Rouge, not at Louis, not at LSU's campus, but uh, over in New Orleans, uh, Florida State, traveling there to take on the LSU Tigers. And, of course, LSU new head coach, Brian Kelly. He's winning the Try Hard Award so far out of all the new coaches. Uh, now this guy's trying way too hard. The fake accent thing, I've done a video on that. Dancing with recruits, and he just looks awkward as hell. Uh, it looks like the, 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 the Brian Kelly dancing with recruit videos look like hostage videos. I mean, it just looks like pe you know people forced at gunpoint to do something they don't want to be doing. Not a good look. But I do think Brian Kelly's a good coach. In fact, probably a better coach than Mike Norvell who is Florida State's coach. You know, everybody loves to hate on Notre Dame, LSU fans included, uh, and love to hate on Brian Kelly about his uh, inability to win big games or whatever. You know, LSU fans changed their mind now that he's the coach there. But Brian Kelly is a good coach. I mean, the guy was at Notre Dame for over a decade, averaged 10-plus wins a year, made the playoffs twice. Um, you know, how many coaches have made the playoffs twice? Not, not very many. Not very many. Um, so, you know, I do think Brian Kelly is a pretty good coach. Now it remains to be seen how good of a fit he's going to be, uh, at LSU in particular and in the SEC in general, that remains to be seen, but I do think he's a good coach. And you look at Mike Norvell, I mean, the guy inherited a total mess, uh, at Florida state, you know, left over from Willie Taggart. How much really has he improved Florida state though? Now, I'm going to admit, I ha I'm on record saying that I do think Florida State, at least right now, is in the best shape of any of the three major uh, football programs in the state of Florida. I'm talking, of course, about Florida State, the Florida Gators, and the Miami Hurricanes. But the main reason for that is, though, even Mike Norvell, even though Mike Norvell hasn't exactly not, you know, uh, I don't know what grade you would give Mike Norvell uh, for his first couple of years at Florida State. You know, it's not like he's come in and won 10, 11 games, but at least Florida State is not changing coaches. My, you know, Miami, brand new coaching staff again this year. Florida, brand new coaching staff again this year. If nothing else, Florida State has some consistency at the coaching uh, position. And, you know, despite the fact that they lost Travis Hunter on signing day or early signing day or whatever it was, they still had a pretty good signing class. Picked up some good offensive linemen. They picked up, you know, some pretty good skill players. So they're not a terrible team. That's the point I'm making here. They're talented. You know who they're not as talented as, though? They're not as talented as LSU. Talent is not LSU's problem. It wasn't LSU's problem in 2021. It wasn't LSU's problem in 2020. 
LSU is always one of the most ten talented teams. You a lot of times one of the most five talented teams in all of America. I mean, they recruit gangbusters every single year without fail. It doesn't seem to matter what their record was the year before. It doesn't seem to matter who the head coach is. LSU, going back years and years and years, has never had a problem recruiting. Look at all the players uh, LSU has put. Um, into the NFL over the last 10, 15, 20 years. There's not, you can't name five teams that have put more players in the NFL than LSU. So that's not a talent issue. It, it you know, who knows? Uh, so, uh, you know, Brian Kelly comes down, lots of experience um, at the head coaching position coming from Notre Dame. He was at Cincinnati before that. Uh, you know, I think LSU is going to be a talented team, and I think they have a good coach. I think LSU is more talented than Florida State, and I think Brian Kelly, at least at this point in his career, is a better head coach than Mike Norvell at this point in Mike Norvell's career. I don't see really how anybody could argue against that. What's the highlight of Mark Norvell's head coaching career? Someone let me know. Um, because for Brian Kelly, it's two trips to the playoffs. Oh, he got blown out. Uh, how many times has Mike Norvell been blown out in the playoffs? Zero. Know why? Never been there. Never even sniffed it. We all know Florida State's been an abject failure, disaster, dumpster fire, and gutter juice uh, for the better part of the last seven or eight years. I don't know if there's a stat that proves that more than this one, though. You have to go back. God almighty. This is hard to believe. I had to look this up. I read this, and then I had to look it up somewhere else to verify it to make sure I wasn't reading fake news or alternative facts. Did you know you have to go all the way back to the year 2019? to find a Florida State win in the month of September. Just think about that. This is Florida State we're talking about here. The same uh, program that, that, that Bobby Bowden accomplished all those things under. Uh, how many top 10 finishes in a row? How many top five finishes in a row? How many bowl games in a row? How many conference titles? How many huge bowl wins? And now it's been two full seasons. You gotta go all the way back to 2019. To find a time where, where 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 FSU won a game in September, FSU is 0 for September in the last two seasons. That's unbelievable, unbelievable. Look at some of the teams they have played. You're talking about some gutter juice teams. I mean, Boise State. Uh, what was the name of that? Uh, that they lost to an FCS team. Oh, wow. They've been losing to, was it Duke or whoever it was? They're just losing to all these terrible teams in September. Then they turn around at the end of the year, they're getting beat by Florida. Yeah, you know, Miami owns them lately. It's just been a bad situation for our, our, our good buddy. Wait, tanto. But like I said, they're cursed. Florida State is cursed. And look, I, I know people think, I, you know, I say things on here a lot of times. I'm joking, and this really isn't a trash talk video. I'm just honest opinion. Florida State's not in a good spot compared to where they're used to being. I do think Florida State is headed in the right direction. I, you know, I do think they're at least the most stable program in Florida, at least between Florida, uh, Miami, and uh, uh, and Florida State. UCF best program in Florida uh, right now. Anyway, oh <laughs> God, what if I'd have told you? I don't know, two, three years ago, that in 2022, Gus Malzoon was going to have the best program in the state of Florida, and it was going to be at UCF. You'd have laughed me off the internet. Uh, yep, but uh, that's the situation we find ourselves in. Now I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Completely forgot what I was talking about. Something about how, how bad Florida State was. Oh, yeah, they're cursed. As long as Florida State insists on painting some white frat kid up uh, like a Native American, and trotting him out onto the field so he can chuck that flaming toothpick into the 50-yard line, it's hard for me to believe Florida State's ever going to turn it around. You got to get White Tonto off that horse, get you a real engine. There are lots of engines in the state of Florida. Yeah, it's got to be. There's Indian reservations and stuff there that run casinos and all that, so there's got to be engines down there. You ought to be able to find one, get him on the horse. But uh, anyway, so uh, LSU versus Florida State, LSU versus FSU. Again, you can tell me how bad these two teams have been the last couple of years, and I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, but chances are you're going to be watching this game if you're a college football fan. I'll be watching it, not going to lie. I'm going to watch Texas and Alabama. I'm going to watch Cincinnati, Arkansas. I'm going to watch Notre Dame, Ohio State. I'm going to watch Florida and Utah. Uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm talking about these games is because, in my opinion, they're worth watching. Um, let me ask you all this. Between LSU and FSU, particularly if you're not a fan of either one of those teams, who do you think is going to win more games? Um, well, who do you think is going to win this game, LSU, FSU? And who do you think is going to win more games in uh, in 2022? 
right? Because it's possible LSU beats FSU, but FSU wins more games, right? FSU's got an ACC schedule. LSU has an SEC schedule, and they play in the SEC West. So you have Texas A&M, Alabama, Auburn, Ole Miss, Arkansas, and some tough games there. Florida State, I mean, who do they have to play? Uh, you, know, you know, a bunch of ACC teams. What the whoopity woo and dippity dee. Uh, anyway, it's getting late. feel like I'm getting a little bit silly. 600 likes. Gave you another one.